Bowman Cup number four. And, uh, yeah, this is the ball bull where, like, it's kind of a pain in the ass. You're only knocking out a star, but you have to time in the bull charge. You do get plenty of opportunities to, star to get stars, though. Yeah, so he's knocked down. That's great. Oh, get knocked down. Oh, you're up again. Hey, yeah, we're gonna make me now, and I get knocked down, but I get up again. One, one thing that's strange about the second ball, Bill, is that he always gets up at nine. I have heard it's possible to KO him, but I don't know how it works. I think you have to go into three rounds with him. Heck, I timed it wrong. He's ending up at nine. Yeah, we're going into two rounds with them. Listen, Matt. Give him a fast uppercut when he's stunned. This time, I'm going to charge right over you. Well, you already did. That's a shitty increase, Doc. You can actually increase your life between rounds. And it's, uh, the first knockdown. Ooh. He's gonna be up at nine, I already know it. Yeah, he always gets up at nine. I wonder if it is possible to KO him. I think you have, I think you probably have to go into three rounds with him. Yeah, we already, uh, we already almost have him completely knocked out. We've tied him out, basically. Yep, TKO. Here with the next fighter. Uh, this is the second fight with Don Flamenco. I never understood how Don Flamenco, of all people, beat Bald Bull. Does this Flamenco is actually kind of a pain in the ass because, like, um. He'll throw jabs, and not only that, like, um, he'll basically block all your punches until you get run out of hearts. You can throw jabs like that. Yeah, he basically, eventually he's gonna, like, uh, block all your punches and, uh, basically drain your hearts. Yeah, like this. I just want to see him fall in a more amusing way.
We were not going to TKO in the first round, though. Our goal is to make him tired. I wonder if it is possible to get to KO this Don Flamenco. We actually didn't even take a single hit. And look, he lost his hair. Let me go straight to return of Don. Yep, we get to see him fall into more music. This is the last time I'm probably going to get to see it, though. 22 seconds, he's already knocked out. I've heard the amount of points required to beat this Don Flamingo by decision is insanely high. I think it's like 10,000. Here we go. At least we can get him running out. We're gonna run out of hearts now. And that's CKO. We only have three more fighters left. We rank up to number two, and uh, yeah, we're gonna fight Mr. Sandman, which is definitely one of the hardest fights in the whole game. He's basically a pallet swap, a bull bull. He's, he's gonna throw the jabs and he's gonna throw the hooks. There's actually a way he can get the you can throw the hooks faster. Yeah, basically uh you wanna dodge the hooks and then punch him in the gut. Yeah, when you when he when he blinked when he flashes, that's when you want to uh, do the uh, hooks when you want to dodge the uppercuts. Because I'm not always good at doing it. There's a chance, a good chance I might not beat this guy. I'm really trying to concentrate. Sorry for the lack of commentary. Anyway, so we at least we can ambush him in the second round. I can't win, Doc. Yes, you can, Mac. Bedtime for little Mac. Well, that's a better increase. We, we got our life back. And that's the uh, first knockdown. He's into the uppercuts when he gets back up, though. Let me see if I can time it right this time. Hold on a second, I'm gonna concentrate. Yeah, once you counter those, you can do like 15 body shots.
All right, that's second knockdown. He's going to do the uppercuts again. If we can time those, we got the fight. Back 